Hi there, I'm Steve with Outdoor Essentials. In this video, I'll be showing you how to dig post holes and set posts for a fence. Follow these easy steps to get started. Any fence installation should start by marking out the fence run, including marking where the posts will go. Post spacing is based on the size of the fence panel. In this case, we're spacing our posts eight feet on center. We've also contacted our local utility company and had them mark underground cables and pipes. To dig your post holes, you'll need a few tools. You can use a post hole digger or power auger. Many home improvement stores will have a power auger available to rent. Whatever you choose, you'll need a cordless drill, screws, a hammer, a level, tape measure, a shovel and a bucket, pieces of scrap 2x4 and stakes. As far as materials go, you'll need some quick set concrete, gravel, and access to water. The amount of concrete you need will depend on the size and depth of your post hole. You can check the chart on the side of the concrete bag or use an online calculator to determine how much you'll need. When you're staking out your corner, there's a few things to keep in mind. If you're face mounting your posts, you may want different spacings here at the corner. You can subtract an inch and three quarter from both sides to have the fence panels meet at the corner, or subtract an additional inch and a half from one side to have them overlap. You can also easily check that your corner is marked perfectly square by using the three, four, five rule. Measure three feet down one side at the corner and mark the line. Measure four feet down the other side and mark the line. The distance between those two marks should be exactly five feet. If not, adjust your stakes until you achieve that distance. Now that we have our tools and our post locations marked, it's time to start digging. In general, the post hole should be one third as deep as the fence is tall. So if you're installing a six foot fence, the post hole should be at least two feet deep. The bottom of the post should also sit below the frost line, which varies from region to region. You should be able to find that depth with a little Googling or consult local building codes. Add a few inches to account for gravel and you're ready to start digging. We're digging this hole 30 inches deep. Once you've reached the depth you need, pour a few inches of gravel into the hole to help with drainage. Set your post in the hole, ensuring that it's plumb and that the front of the post is just touching the string line. Hold the post in place and fasten your scrap pieces of 2x4 to adjacent sides of the post. Drive stakes into the ground and fasten the other end of the 2x4s to the stakes. These will hold the post in place while the concrete cures. Speaking of concrete, you should use a quick setting mix. Pour the mix directly into the hole and pour water on top. Mix it up with a shovel in the hole, which will simultaneously remove air pockets. Once the concrete is thoroughly mixed, push some soil back on top of it. Recheck that your post is plumb, adjust the supports if needed. Follow the instructions on the bag as to how long the concrete should cure. In the meantime, you can install your next post. Follow the same steps. Keep a close eye on spacing and reference your string line all the way down the fence run. Check out the rest of our videos and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips.